passion, pride, and professionalism. Last November in Mississauga, it all came together. At a summit for participants in the Teacher Learning and Leadership Program, TLLP came of age. We're very passionate and we feel it's very important. I think we're here to learn as much as anything. It's on the amalgamation or the transition between grade 7 and 8 and grade 9 for the algebra continuum. Hmm. Wow, that's, that's so much me big time. So we know we've grown in a year. We've grown so much and shared. Unfortunately, some of these fell off. Some tape. Yeah. So we're looking forward to sharing with people and also hearing what other schools have been doing between French and English. Brilliant. That's so good I can almost hug you. <laughs> We find a new technique, we practice in the classroom, and then we go out and we share it. We're enthusiastic, we know what works. From our own experiences, we want to share that, make learning better for kids. As they shared teaching strategies, learning from one another, teachers talked about being inspired and revitalized. But we're in Eastern Ontario, we're very isolated sometimes from things that are going on, you know, so uh, an opportunity just to come here is something that we don't get a chance to do, so we're excited. We've sort of affiliated a little bit. We've gotten to know the Hamilton board that's doing another boys literacy project. And we've kind of learned how to create our own little wiki space and share ideas. So we're, we're open to any opportunity to get to the next level. We would ha be very happy to go to the next level and to share this province-wide because we believe that we need to use the arts to develop all kinds of skills, math skills, literacy skills, that children learn in different ways and that we need to appeal to all of those learners. It's a labor of love, yeah, I think. It is. It's the need. You see the need and you have to go for it. A teacher is someone who knows exactly how to spell words with the right letters. Jade, age five. A teacher is a person who goes to school longer than anyone else in the whole world. Katrina, age seven. The Minister of Education, Leona Dombrowski, talked about encouraging fresh thinking. It's about sharing those best practices, sharing those good stories, sharing stories about the challenges and how they can be managed. With words of support for TLLP, she noted that teachers know best what works in the classroom. I see teachers who are passionate about what they do. They're passionate about the children in their class. Uh, you can pass along some of your advice and direction and experience and what's worked and what served you well and the feedback that you've received. Annie Kidder stressed that success in educating our children is vital to the health of our society. Every single individual thing you do or every single thing you do as a, as a group has an impact on, on all of us, on our human ecology. What I hope from you guys is building up from these projects you're working on that you take that out into the world and you see yourselves as the leaders in this kind of wonderful you know, fight for a fairer world and a better world and I actually think we just have to see education as the place where that can happen. TLLP project displays involved science, technology and the arts, French and English, and creative approaches to dozens of teaching challenges in elementary and secondary schools. Chimps are the subject of the paper you're holding in your hand right now. I've been in education for many years, but this is the one exciting time that they actually, you know, you be, you're able to create something and if they see value in it, then they support you with time and money. It's excited to see all the other technology induced projects and, and where we can go with that. would love to bring some of these ideas back to our board, so that's the sharing piece that's happening right now. I love that it's idea. Going. So when it's here, are you actually filming them here or is it mounted somewhere? I hold it um, and then in the morning when we have the circle time, yeah. I have a tripod. There was just happened to be one in the school that oh, nobody was using. Perfect. And there are flying seeds, that's right. Video documentation highlights my children's oral language, their inquiry, and their uh, learning through play. 
and what it's taught me is that video is a very powerful and useful tool in the kindergarten program, not only for myself as, as I'm facilitating their learning, but also uh, for the parents and for my colleagues. Well, one of the things that we all have in common is literacy. So what we're trying to do is improve subject area literacy um, and all of those three uh, areas, science, English, and geography, that's how we were able to bring uh, the three disciplines together, really. Okay. We look fabulous. Mais le but de notre projet, c'est vraiment que nos élèves puissent comprendre puis apprendre à faire de l'inférence, à lire entre les lignes. Ceci, c'est ça parle un samouraï. Alors, c'est sûr que c'est un livre qui va aller chercher beaucoup plus l'intérêt du garçon. Juste pour ajouter, c'est ça, c'est qu'on a fait 21 livres. Euh, on a pris 21 histoires et on a créé les questions d'inférence déjà toutes prêtes pour les enseignants avec les réponses. We are, as a school now, providing a lot more rich feedback to students. We're allowing them to uh, reevaluate their own learning, to have a look at where they need to get assistance, what they need to improve on, prior to actually giving them a test. What we have done is we created an informative assessment toolkit, and it's based on the work from all the departments within our school. And then how often would a department have a meeting? Our departments usually meet once a month. Oh, OK. And cut. <laughs> For the TLLP teacher leaders, the summit is the culmination of months of planning and presenting. It's also an opportunity to learn and laugh. Scrunch it, share the passion, and go! <laughs> Did you hear the buzz of passion in this room as you were remembering why you went into teaching? That's a beautiful thing. That's part of what makes you who you are. Several TLLP projects introduced at the summit deal with the special needs of boys or girls. So what we decided to do is create a six-week program where we met with the girls three times a week and each week we had a topic that we were covering. So one week it was self-esteem, one week body image, another week was healthy eating, positive social interactions, hygiene. And sometimes we had to be in the gym because it was raining outside. But one thing we really liked is we set up the stage to look like a living room. So we had couches, chairs. It took it out of the classroom so the girls wouldn't feel as sure. intimidated. Sure. The goal of the summit is to share great teaching strategies. As ideas migrate from school to board to province-wide, the excitement and enthusiasm is infectious. It's your choice. What is it that you want to learn? The flip side is, of course, with this is, what are we asking you to share? What is your expertise that you're going to develop further and share with other teachers? Yeah, developing this method. Yeah, beautiful, wonderful work. <laughs> You guys are responsible in your godlike way. You're responsible for what our world's going to look like because you're teaching the next generation of society. And I think it's really important that you always think about that when you're teaching. For us, we've had a chance in the last couple of years to listen to our boys. Like it just makes you more aware and to think about everything you're doing in the class. It's been exciting so far. It's been a, a great learning experience and we don't want it to end here. We don't want this to be the end. We want to continue and we hope that this is just the beginning of something uh, even greater. Together with the dedication of people like you, we are making great strides. Please keep doing what you're doing because what's happening in our schools is really quite extraordinary. Thank you.